Greetings, welcome, welcome again, again to a packed house here. We're sold out tonight. We sold out seven packs. I got the Pac-Man fever that the only cure to this fever is more ripping. And we're in for a great show tonight. I cut the music. I'm cutting the intro down a little bit. Look at my desk. I got no room to operate. And the doctor, like Dr. J, we pulled a week or two ago needs to operate. A lot going on. Welcome. I am the box breaking, wax tearing, cello ripping, pack card, fresh pulling, pack medium devil. I'm here to help educate people on the packs we open. I'm here to entertain. As always, doing my very best to keep a little levity in this whole pack opening stress filled process. And I'm also here to make you pull when the crowd shuts up, thank you. Make you pull the card of a lifetime. Hello, Matthew, Jordan pulling, you better believe it. Here's Jordan's restaurant, 1000 North in Jupiter. We don't pull this card tonight. I may have to go down there and pay, pay a little visit. So we'll see how that goes. First off, we sold our equity pack out. Breaking news today, the 58 Tops Football Cello Pack with Jim Brown possibly in there. We're opening this tomorrow night on our special pre-4th of July, Wednesday happy hour, equity pack opening. We all join hands and try to pull the best cards. We're going to get them right to SGC. Thursday's the holiday, Friday, and we'll get them right back to you. Big news, big pack. Can't wait for that one. Also, not only one, but both are promos. What's up there, Dave? Sold out. The first one was if you spent, uh, where do I, I got so much stuff on this desk. The first promotional giveaway, let me get my little board up. You buy into any of our equity packs, which is probably why this sold out. We're gonna give away only 10 people this Mickey Mantle PSA 8 card. Somebody's going, this is getting mailed out tomorrow to some lucky winner. And if you don't win that, second and third gets you 2,000 and 1,000 reward points. So three winners out of 10. This will be happening tonight. Put it over there. I don't know where to put it. Just put it over. I'm going to put it there for now. Uh, our other promotion, the MIB, not Men in Black, Money in the Bank sold out. This was only 10 spots. We like to keep our promotions tight. But anybody that spent $175 or more on a single order got one entry into our money in the bank. And one lucky winner of the 10 is going to get a contract that entitles them to one free card of their choice. It's not on there. Or an equity share of your choice. Either or. And second place, we'll get a rack pack. We got to open that tonight. 26 wrestling cards. And third place, we'll get a wax pack. So, th 10 people, one very happy winner, two extremely happy people winning some more prizes. We'll do this tonight also. Let's put that briefcase down there. I can't wait to open it. And real quickly, we just listed a 1970 Topps Football Wax Pack. We already sold the share. We put it up today. One, one card got bought already. OJ Simpson, Joe Namath, and a possible PSA 10 worth an estimated 15, 20,000 or so. A lot of big with Hall of Famers in here. Ten cards. We're down to nine already. Hard pack to get a hold of. We got a couple. Uh, very good one. 
And then I just, uh, we listed this beautiful 1970 Topps basketball wax packer. Not the Green Bay Packers, a wax pack. 1970. In here could be Pete Maravich. 25,000, I'm going to estimate. Uh, JoJo White, Jerry White, a lot of Hall of Famers. Go read the listing. Go take a look at it. It's encapsulated in there. It's a beautiful pack. And I again, we, we just are here to open as much as we can. Again, our equity pack sold out tomorrow night. Darkness comes. The rest in peace. This is going in the coffin tonight. It'll be resurrected tomorrow on our show, our pre-4th of July show, which should be fun and very exciting. I got the mantle here. I got this here. My minute in sports. There it is. All right. There's about 20 NBA players that all switch places on all different teams. So it's the same NBA, but everybody's got jerseys of certain players. Got to throw them in the garbage and get new jerseys. That's about it. And the Yankees and Red Sox played in London, and they scored more runs in those two games than the whole soccer league did there in the last 10 years. So it was like touch. The Yankees, the Yankees were up by a touchdown at one point. That's it. That's the minute in sports. Just another week goes by, another week we get closer to the NFL. Well, without further ado, before I tell you to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel, we're going right into the ripping. Right into soul. And our promo tonight, one last thing, spend $50 or more, since it's a basketball night, I think four of our packs are basketball, spend $50 or more anywhere on the site and you will get a free 1989 NBA Hoops pack containing possibly a Jordan or Robinson card worth $50 to $100 in a 10. Uh, there's 15 trading cards in here. This says Bradley's for 45 cents. That's what it cost back then. Spend 50. We'll open it tonight. You'll do great. Yesterday, we got your message. The support at JustRipIt.com. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. And any, anybody ever wants to email us what packs they like? Absolutely. We'll try to obtain them. Okay. Without further ado, we got to do what we do and what we're here to do. So our first pack is a 1978. Tops baseball wax pack. Our only baseball tonight. 14 cards. Uh, we're looking for Mr. Eddie Murray, worth about 17,000, 15, 17, 19, and a 10. Uh, a lot of Hall of Famers in here. Uh, Nolan Ryan, 15, Molitor, 12,000, Brett, Reggie, 3,000 or more, uh, and a 10. Mickey Rivers, Rod Carew, blah, 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 blah. All on our listing. 47 Hall of Famers. 14 people, and let's get ready to rip. So let's, we're going to randomize the list. Let's throw it one dice. Ooh, one, one randomization, one. So we go here. We're just going to hit it once. And there we have it. Ryan Crosby top, Michael Bastianello in the last spot. Mike, we had a delicious pizza tonight. If we could have joined us it, I order my, I'm in Florida, and the pizza tastes like wood down here. I order my pizza from New York City, Prince Street Pizza. It's goldbelly.com. Comes right down here. Good pre-carb meal here. A lot of packs. So, we randomize. Let's load up the customer list. And there we have it. Uh, we're going to open up two packs. We're going to do the Mickey Mantle giveaway. We're going to open up two more packs. We're going to do, we have a grade parade to do. Our equity pack came back to 1967, was it? Yeah, all cards got graded. I'll show those off. Two more packs. We'll do the money in the bank. And then we'll close it out with our 86 Fleer basketball. Got two shots to pull Jordan, an 87 and an 86 Fleer. And we got a 74 and 75 basketball. And we'll get to those shortly okay all the packs tonight are PSA graded be a lot 
a plastic going on here. We got a crew coming in after the show to get all the plastic out of here. A lot. And here it goes. It's going to rain a lot of plastic in here. You may have to even put the yellow tape around the studio when I'm done. Ooh, that almost went up my nose. Holy man. Nasty, nasty plastic. I sometimes have nightmares about plastic when I go to bed. Like all these plastic cases are being chucked at me. Ali R. I can't see through these goggles. Ali Ardenado, how much was the spot in this? I believe it was $20, $20 a card. 20 bucks a card. And we listed another one. And if you spend 50 or more tonight there, you get a free, we open it up, and if there's a nice card in there, we'll grade it for you, NBA Hoops Basketball. We only got about four or five. And there it is, rest in peace, gone. It wasn't that bad, I rolled a one. Big garbage can. Let's get this plastic residue, it's plastic. I don't think we need the Dyson. We'll just go with a little shot of air. All right, good luck, everybody. We get it out of the plastic, and then we have to get it out of the plastic again. And there's our beautiful fit. Pat. Ryan, you get the top card. Ryan on top, Ryan on top, Ryan on top. Michael the bottom. We open it from the bottom, and we give Ryan the first card. Actually, it's both two cards on top. And this beautiful, graded, unsearched, and sealed 78. Brings back a lot of memories, 78. We mark the gum because people like to reseal packs with the gum. They need the gum. You buy a pack on eBay and it's not graded and there's no gum, you lose. You lose. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we got 78. Ryan Crosby, you're up. Andy Echebarren. Andy Echebarren, catcher for the Angels. Let's get a lot of Andy Echebarren. Maybe because we just remember that name. Two, Ryan Crosby. Steve Staggs. Guy looks miserable. Toronto Blue Jays. Poor Raptors. Leonard wins the title. Think he wants to go for a repeat? No. Trade me. Trade me to another team. Get me out of here. Horrible. All the fan support. Number three, Lyle Hoover. Larry Haney. Larry Haney, Brew Crew, catcher. Pack fresh, corners are immaculate. We look at the centering and hope the centering is good. Four, Joe Goulet. Joe Goulet gets Craig Swan, pitcher. It was Lynn Swan in that year for football. It worked for mine. Craig Swan, Mets. These cards are crisp, very crisp. Crosby, Crosby, Hoover. Oh, okay. Number five, Lyle Hoover again. 77 stolen base leader. This looks very well centered. Frank Tavares and Freddie Patek, stolen base leaders. Card 204. Nobody steals bases anymore. This catcher's got guns for arms, that's why. Number six, Robert Phillips. Where's my 78 list? Number six, Robert Phillips, you get Phillies, Jim Cott. Jim Cott. Well, Jim looks happy. Nice blue sky. Philadelphia Phillies, number six. Seven, Donald Lewis, you get Steve Dunning. Steve looks a little sunburned there. Maybe a little SPF on the next photo. We'll help him out. Boy, he's got a big red nose. Steve Dunning. Like the centering on that. That's important. 647, Steve Dunning. Number eight, Joe Goulet. You're up. 
Ralph Gar. Pretty good center. Let me get a little focus in there. Ralph Gar, the old Chicago White Sox cap. Card number 628. A lot of stats on the back of these cards. Pre-internet days. Pre-internet. The card again. Looks like there's some type of UFO in the background there. Number nine, Ryan Crosby. You're up. And you get... Bob Boone, Aaron Boone, Bob, a lot of Boones in the uh, Major League Baseball. Catcher, Phillies, Bob Boone, card number 161. Number 10, Charles Jackson, you get Rennie Stennett, Rennie Stennett. Pirates, that's where they had pinstripe uniforms. Nice card, nice centering, look at the corners again. Pack fresh like we're back in 1978. Where was everybody in 78? Lyle Hoover, number 11. Chuck Scrivener. Detroit Tigers. Chuck Scrivener. Well, he played a big history there for the Scriver. And where we at number 12, Lyle Hoover again. Frank Tanana, angel pitcher. He was there with Nolan Ryan. That was a good tandem. Frank Tanana, hatless Frank Tanana. Number 13, Ryan Crosby. You get Jerry Morales, outfielder for the Cubbies. And last but not least, 14, Mike Bastinello, you get Mark Lemon Jello. Not Lemon Cello, the drink, but Lemon Jello. Looks like he's got hair like Larry from the Three Stooges there. Mark Lemon Jello. Okay, I think we're a Hall of Famer list on that, and I'm not too happy about that. These cards are packed fresh, they're nice. Probably the best one centered to was that one. Andy, open up with Andy. Andy Etchaban. Okay, after each pack is opened, we give out dividends. So we'll randomize this list and give out you some reward points. Everybody gets the top three guys, get reward points, and we put those in your account and you use them towards the next purchase. So without further ado, let's randomize the list four times for the dividend. Let's go for one, two, three, four. Lyle Hoover, 300 points. Joe Goulet, 200. And Lyle, another 100, which gives you winning show for 400. And Joe, you get 200 points. We will give out a Godzilla pack to one lucky winner on the Wheel of Rip, which we're going to spin right now. And the lucky winner that gets this Godzilla. We've been on a Godzilla roll lately. Robert Phillips, you get the Godzilla pack. Congratulations. And there we have it. Okay, that closes out the 78. Welcome everybody that just joined us. We have a very busy night. Thank you for everybody in that pack that made that possible. I believe we listed another one. 78, boy, that's about 41 years ago. Whew. Long, long time ago. Okay, let's do a little cleanup. Next pack. Our first shot at Mr. Jordan. A 1987 Fleer Wax Pack, PSA graded 8. 12 cards and a pretty valuable sticker, which could be Jordan also. So without further promotion and mention, let's get this next one loaded up here. Change the pack name for those of you playing at home.
There we have it. Register as a customer, not as a guest, so you can earn points. Today is two times Tuesday. All purchases entitle you to double points. Also, if you promote, pro, purchase $50 or more on any pack, uh, any card or anything on there, you will get this free 89 basketball card. Another chance to pull a Jordan and or Robinson, and I think those are worth some money as well. We're giving out, after this, we'll be giving out our Mickey Mantle giveaway. So if you're in that, stay tuned. A lot of people like to archive our video or watch it at their leisure. We appreciate that as well. So let's get ready here. Let's see. All right. Uh, let's randomize the list. I like to roll one dice four times. Let's go four times. One, two, three. Four, Dennis Helene, top card, Paul Tuttle, the bottom card on this Hall of Fame filled pack. There we have it. What's up there, James? Yes, we oh, we were trying to pull Jordan. I think we pulled almost everybody big. We pulled Randy White. We pulled Dr. J. We pulled the Bird Irving Magic card. We pulled Jim Palmer. Uh, a lot of cards. We have rip clips. If you, if you follow us on Instagram, we do rip clips, which show some of our best two-minute or one-minute or show of the cards that we have pulled. And it's exciting. Share these with your friends. It's very important. And I think that... They'll like it. They'll be very happy. Okay, so another pack. Okay, on go the goggles. The studio is cleared for pack. Fresh opening. Plastic flying. One good shot there. Whoa, that went off the third monitor. Actually hit the wheel of rip. Whoa. That hit the keyboard. Did it mess up? No, no. These packs open. Holy cow, look at this thing. Really? I better up my insurance policy. Gotta get some life insurance. Well, it's fun in games till a jagged piece of plastic goes for the throat. All right. It's been very, maybe if this, uh, this has been breaking pretty good, could be recycled plastic, which is what we try to encourage. All right, let's get that. Garbage. Here it is. We send this back to PSA when they accumulate to show them there's one less pack out there that has been ripped by yours truly, the Ripper. Oh, we may need the Dyson for this. I'd like to welcome all our existing customers. We got some new customers. Go to justripit.com. Huge assortment of packs that are out there. Uh, you don't have to make a purchase. You can watch us for free. It's fun to watch as well. It's good to be in on the action. Tomorrow night we're opening up that 58 cello. The packs are so old and the cards are so beautiful. It's really fun and great. Hopefully you can join us on this holiday, shortened holiday week. That's why tomorrow we'll go to the hour. Thursday's 4th of July and we're going to have a great weekend. Your barbecue, get your in-laws over, feed them enough hot dogs and hamburgers so they, they feel sick and get them out of the house. Get him out. Okay. Dennis Helene, top card. And from what I hear, a lot of powder from the gum. So we have our duster. Let's see if there's a lot of... The gum used to stick to the card. So back when 87 started, they put a lot of bubblegum powder or something. Dennis Helene, top card. Boy, there's like an accumulation of like a dusting of like a snow here. Wow. All right. All right. Look at this. Like I said, hard to see, but a lot of powder. And it was a good move because, I mean, really. You can't even see the player. It's a sticker. It 
it's a Mr. Chuck person. I want to go to this pack here. Yeah, Chuck Person. All right, let me, let me, let me get let me get this all cleaned up here. In the one spot, Dennis Helene. These stickers are pretty valuable. It, make, it makes this pack very encouraging to open up. It's a Chuck Person sticker. It's it's crystal clear. It's just some powder on there. We'll get that off there for you. Uh, a 10 sold for $644. So we'll take a close look at that. Congratulations, Dennis Helene. It's a great shot of Chuck Person, a great pacer right there. Uh, it's sticker number 10 of 11. Uh, Jordan sticker's worth 6,000. Aguirre's worth four. Alex English, Barkley, Elijah Wan, and Wilkins about 1,000. Then you got Person and Bird, six to $800. So nice pull. We look forward to the sticker in this pack. There's only 11 of them. And that's a good one right there. We'll grade it on the house if it looks good. And you get a 10, you got some money coming back. Congratulations there. Dennis Aline. Okay, let's get to the nitty gritty of the cards. Number two, Gary Marks. Alvin Robertson. Alvin Robertson, not Robertson. Alvin Robertson, Spurs guard. Again, 87. They made these cards very crisp and clear. All down to the centering. Number three, Frederick Harding, Walter Davis. Walter Davis, Phoenix Suns, guard. Pack fresh cards again, because they're graded on search these easels. Number four, Robert Phillips. Not Dr. J, but Doc Rivers, guard. Very well centered there. Let me get to my list here. I always get to check most of these guys. Same backs as the 86 flare, which was which was really nice. Doc Rivers. It's an affordable pack with some stars. And again, Jordan. Jordan's the go-to guy. Number five, Gary Marks again, Brad Dougherty. Looks like Jabbar's bald head in the background. Yep, that's Kareem, all right. That balding head as he got older. LeBron chooses to wear the headband. Kareem didn't care. He just poured in 40 every night. Number six, Paul Tuttle, Robert Reed. Nicely centered card, Robert Reed. Probably looks like he's either staring at some girl in the crowd or ready to shoot a free throw. I think a free throw looks more apt. Number seven, Eric Doyle. Card number 24, Adrian Dantley forward for the Pistons, Adrian Dantley. It's a nice set to complete, too, and put away. Number eight, Gary Marks, Paul Pressey, Bucks, making a very nice pass. Nicely centered, top, bottom, left to right. Looks like a nice card. Card number 90, Paul Pressey. The back is just spotless. Come on, we got Irving in here, Ewing, Johnson, George. Come on, we got to get, let's, let's get this pack on the move here. We got number nine, Joe Cirillo. You get Terry Cummings of the Bucks. Terry Cummings is card number 23. Good player, one of the more popular players in the set, Terry Cummings. Congrats there. Can we check all the centering? If the centering is good, we'll grade these on the house to maximize value. Number 10, Paul Tuttle, Terry Porterhouse Steak, Terry Porter, card number 89, Blazers. Number 11, Eric Doyle. Let's flip this around. I remember this guy from the Bulls. Well, we got a Bull. It's not Jordan. It's nicely centered, though. I wish it was Jordan. It's Sedell 3, not Threat, Sedell 3, Fleer, Bulls guard, card number 110, Sedell 3. Boy, we had a bull. I saw a bull. When my eyes go like that, I see a bull. Bull. Bull has to come out. There, let's get him ready. 12, Paul Tuttle and 13. Sydney Green, Pistons. Very nicely centered. Let's get the focus. Very nicely centered. Sydney Green, guard forward for the Pistons. Fleer, card number 44. 
Okay, Michael skunked us again here. He skunked us again. Number 13, Paul Tuttle, Otis Thorpe. Kings, forward. Boy, these cards were centered nice, too. They were centered nice. Okay, I think our top was the sticker of Chuck Persons, worth about 600 plus in the 10. We'll take a close look at that for grading, and we'll let you know, Dennis. We'll put the bull aside. Michael's starting to get on my nerves a little bit. We'll, we'll get Michael. We'll, we'll get him. All right, let's randomize. Let's get that again. Dividends at the end of every pack. Let's randomize the list Ooh, one time. Let's go once on the randomizer. One shot. Dennis Celine, you stuck up there. Good job. 300 points. Gary Marks, 200. And 100 points for third place. Frederick Harding on that. We're going to give out a 1989 Three Stooge pack. We're going to open this because we have a lot of Stooge fans out there. And who's getting this pack? Number 13, Gary Marks. Let's open this up. Because we got a lot of Stooge fans there, Gary. Oh, yeah. There they are. All three. About to toss some pies. Got to love it. I remember that. They painted their prison uniforms black so they can get out of jail. Curly wouldn't eat. These were black and white. These are 1989, just, just, just great classics. It's like the mummy. And there they are in the French Foreign Legion. We'll send this out to you, Gary. Pack Fresh Stooges. It's the good novelty item there. Okay. Let's clean up the board because that's about to be produced to somebody within minutes. Uh, We're getting Mantle into a nice home very shortly. Uh, Shot that happen. Let me see. Is beautiful card. So fun to give this away. Okay, we have 10 people that filled up this promotion pretty quick. And first prize we'll get. Let's go back to our official promo page. Let's get ready to give this baby out. Yep, 10 people, first, pl first place in the randomization. We'll get this PSA eight. Mantle hits the 42nd home run, card number 461, sorry, 1959. Uh, just a beautiful card. It's almost like a cartoonish like. You can see the seven on the back. You can see the ball coming in. Umpire and catcher locked in. It's a baseball thrills. It's worth a couple of $200 plus and an eight. A nine's worth over close to 2,000. Very few 10s out there, I believe. Not that many at all. And that is going to be wonderful to get this out. Okay, we're going to randomize the list. Ooh, eight times. Good luck, everybody. Let's put your names. Second place gets 2,000. Yep, second place will get 2,000 points. Third place, 1,000. We're going eight times on the randomization. There's one. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and here it comes. Mickey Mantle giveaway. James Haverstock. James Haverstock gets the Mickey Mantle. Jeremy Melton gets 2,000 points. And third place, Mike Bastianello gets 1,000 points. There it is. Mickey Mantle going out to James Haverstock. Excellent, excellent work. And there it is. Congratulations to James Haverstock. Fear the Reaper, not the Ripper. Congratulations, James. This will be packed up and secured and sent out to you. Our promotion. We're going to put more promos up there. We're going crazy this summer. It's going to be like our own SummerSlam. You wait and see what else happens here. Congratulations to second and third getting those points. They'll be put into your account for more ripping down the road. We have the money in the bank coming after these next two packs. That's a big one. Oh, boy. It's going to take some time. So let's keep moving right along here. Our next pack, we're going back further in time now. 1975 Topps Basketball Wax Pack. I believe there's 10 cards in this beauty. And, of course, one stick of bubble gum. Okay. Let's get the cleanup going here. 1975 Topps Basketball Wax pack. Nineteen seventy five. There we are. Okay. Here you have it. A 75 wax pack. There's 10 cards in here. The go-to guy is Moses Malone, worth 2,010. Right up there with him is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, worth 2,010. And the Bucks team sold for 1,000 also in a 10. Uh, Jamal Wilkes, Maravich, uh, Nate Archibald, Julius Irving, All-Star. Uh, a couple other cards worth over 1,000 in a PSA 10. And Bobby Jones, George Gervin, Rick Barry. Couple team leader cards we'll check could be worth 500 or more. 29 Hall of Famers in this set, and there's 330 cards. So let's get that ripping away now. Spend 50 or more in case you joined us. You'll get a free 1989 NBA Hoops basketball pack to yourself. We'll open it. Looking for Jordan or Robinson card in there worth some money from there. Okay. Let's randomize the list. Five and a one. Six times on the randomization. Let's go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jeremy Melton top card. Michael the bottom card. There you have it. There you have it. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Share the videos with all your friends. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and our newsletter. New customers, you get 10% off. Look for those promos. The ones up there now have sold out. We're doing them tonight. We will shortly put new ones up there. It is also two times Tuesday. With every purchase, you get reward points. Today, we double the reward points. And always subscribe to our YouTube channel so you know when we're going to open these packs up. And look for... Our emails, they come out to you suggesting bonuses, promos, and other fun things to do. Okay, another PSA pack. And let's get ripping. Okay, 1975, graded, unsearched, and sealed PSA 8 wax pack. Nice pack. Moses Malone and Jabbar. Ooh. 
two in the pocket. Slide right out there. There it is. Another one. Our third PSA pack of the night. It's a PSA night. Whoa. Okay. Plastic. Plastic. More plastic. All right. Very, very nice giving pack there. We get all the plastic off the desk. We don't want any plastic interfering with the cards at all with our Max Dyson. Oh, and then we followed up with. Okay, this should be fun. Let's see what we got here. 75, come out of there. Nice. Jeremy Milton, you get the top card. There we go. Plastic on my, on my coins. Jeremy Milton, top card. We open it from the bottom. Again, we destroyed the gum because the resealers like to put the gum back in there after they search it and take all the good cards out. So, goodbye. Another piece of gum. Eat me, says the gum. Jeremy Milton, you're up. A team leader, Denver Nugget, Rob Simpson, Mark Calvin, Mike Green, and Matt Calvin. Denver Nugget team leader. We need the Bucks team, I believe, sold for a thousand dollars four years ago. Big Buck fans. Number two, Paul Tuttle. You get David Tordzik. Oh, the ABA ball. Looks like a little strange looking. The Squires, Dr. J's team. They mixed up the ABA and NBA. A lot of confusion back then. Lots. Number three, Jeremy Melton. You get. Freddie Lewis. Freddie Lewis from the Spirits. Guy looks jacked up holding the ball right over his name. His hair grew any longer, he'll be going into the team name. Card number 275. Jamal Wilkes, rookie year. Interesting. Number four, Eric Doyle. You get John Drew. That's a great shot right there, John Drew. Duncan. No, no, Joe, I said Jamal Wilkes is one of the top the third best player in the set. We don't got Jamal yet. Hawks. 136. John Drew. Number five, Paul Tuttle, David Wool. Harry Arms got the ball. That's nicely centered. That looks like a very nice card for the Rockets. Dave Wool. Card number one. Okay. That was centered nice. Okay, we're halfway through. Looking for Jabbar Malone, Wilkes, Maravich, Nate Archibald, Julius. Number six, Aaron Miller, Bob Wilson, Bulls. Bob Wilson, Bulls. Card number 169. Number seven, Paul Tuttle, you're up. Downtown Freddie Brown, Sonics. It's a little lost, but that's downtown Freddie Brown. Card number 41. Sonics. Number eight, Jeremy Melton. Basketball checklist, 111 through 220. Is it number 61? No, 181. 61 sold for 400, 181, yeah, about $400 in a 10. Not too bad for the entry, a little off center, but it's of course unmarked like I always joke about because it's packed fresh and before the age of computers, it's the only way we could figure that out. Do, do, do. 
Number nine, Eric Doyle. John Havlicek. That's a nice card right there. We'll sound a little horn. John Havlicek. We got our Hall of Famer. Card number 80. A 410. Just a good player there. John Havlicek. That looks like, boy, is that, could it be Moses Malone back there? Nice shot. All-star card. Good job there, Eric Doyle. Good player, John Havlicek, Hall of Famer. And last 10, Mike Bastianello. You get Ed Ratliff, Rockets. Ed Ratliff, Rockets. Okay, we got as close as Havlicek, but we needed Malone, Jamal Wilkes. Maravich was the $1,000, and Nate Archibald and Julius Irving up there. But we got close. Congratulations again, Eric Doyle. Let's give out some points and dividends. Let's randomize that list Ooh, one time. It'll be a quick one. Let's go one on the randomization. Eric Doyle, 300 points. Eric Doyle, 200 points. And Jeremy Melton, 100 points on the dividend front. And we're going to give out a special wax pack of... Mork and Mindy going out to our Wheel of Rip. And let's spin an array. The packs are going up ever since this guy died. Eric Doyle, congratulations. You get Mork, Nanu, Nanu, Mindy. Good job there. Okay, that closes out that pack. We're moving right along here on this pre-holiday and pre-equity pack night here at JustRipIt.com. Okay, thanks everybody for participating in that pack, because next up we have a 1974 basketball pack. Let me clean up this board here a little bit. There we go. After this, we'll be doing our money in the bank. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, Great Parade and the Money in the Bank coming up shortly. After that, okay, let's see what we have here. 1974 Topps Basketball Wax Pack, PSA graded seven. There is a scratch off game card. If there is in there, we will randomize that to one lucky person. I don't know if you'll win anything from 1974, but you can try because you never know if they're still in business and around. Okay, let's clean up the board here. Let's change the name of the pack. 1974, after this will be our grade parade. Then we do a 1980 basketball and a money in the bank and then our 70 or 74 we'll, we'll go over the schedule there's just so much going on here let's see here 1974 let's change that title okay let's load up this list for random let's see Nineteen seventy four is the year. Tops basketball. A little more per card. We're looking for George Gervin worth nine thousand plus in a PSA possible PSA ten. Bill Walton matching George Gervin nine thousand and a PSA ten. And Julius Irving three thousand. Uh yeah, one lucky winner will receive the scratch off game card as a little uh, bonus. And we're looking for Pete Maravich, Oscar Robertson's in here, Will Chamberlain. Earl Monroe, John Havlicek, Dave Cowens, Jerry West, all worth 2,000 plus. Uh, and a lot of other rare, rare PSA 10s, if, if centered correctly, worth over 1,000. Only 264 in this set and 34 Hall of Famers. So we got a better chance of making some things happening here on this. Let's see, 74, there we go. Yeah, 1974, it's been changed. Title's all good. 1974. Okay, let's randomize the list. So we're going to randomize it eight times. Let's go eight times. Ten people. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Donnie Shockey top, Jerry Milton, last card in there. Okay. Oh, I got you. Not 974. That would be like cavemen. So we'll put a little. There we go. Okay, we just went up a thousand years. Don't know if they played basketball back then. What's up there, DJ? Glad to join us. You're just joining us right into the thick of the action. We're about to open up a 1974 graded, unsearched, and sealed wax pack. We're looking for Gervin. We're looking for Chamberlain. We're looking for uh, Walton. A lot in here. Let's get this pack open. That's the plastic builds. Okay. Oh. Oh, not that bad. There we go. Can't wait to open this pack, boy. Oh, I'd like to see Gervin or Walton. Let's keep pushing. Our fourth pack with three left. Plastic all over the place. And we love it. Love it, love it, love it. Double header tonight. All right, DJ, glad you can make it. What's up there, Tim? It's baseball season. That's why we archive all our shows. If you follow us on YouTube, you can't catch us live. No worries. Watch us on the YouTube channel for free. Okay, Donnie Shock, you're the first card on top. We're looking for Gervin, Walton, and Dr. J, amongst many other Hall of Famers. Okay, let's get this open. Let's get that gum. Came off nice. We have had no gum issues tonight. No gum issues and that's a good sign hall of famers or not no gum issues okay donnie shockey you're up first you got from the sounds freddie lewis holding up that aba they should switch back to that ball once in a while freddie lewis from the sounds guard aba We're doing here. We're at 74, right? Yep. Okay. Card number two, Brian Brillhart. Pacer team leader card, George McGinnis. Freddie Lewis. George McGinnis actually there twice in two different photos. Let me just check this real quick for the leader card. Yeah, a couple hundred dollars and a 10 just sold. We'll check that for centering. 200 plus, it's gotta be perfectly centered. We'll grade that if possible on the house. Any cards that look good for possible nines, tens, eights, we will grade on the house. Number three, Joe Cirillo, Ernie De Gregorio, in the air. Not exactly Air Jordan, but he's got about two feet off the ground there. Eddie De, Greg De, De Gregorio. Right in the card. Okay, number four, Paul Tuttle. Archie Clark, Bullets. Guard for the Bullets. These cards are really bright. Color is great. Back is dark, but they're just perfect. They're perfect on the back with the coloring. And who we have here? Number five, Paul Tuttle. Jerry Sloan from the Bulls. Number 51. 
Interesting. Jerry Sloan. Yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. We'll give you a little nod there for a Hall of Famer. Four guys in the shot. I love cards that have a lot of people in there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good pull there. Nice Hall of Famer there. Number five for Paul Tuttle. This looks like the scratch-off game card. Wow, look at that. Nice bricks. And there's the back. We'll randomize this for free. Get a coin out, play it. Maybe they're worth money. I never checked the actual the game cards. They are unplayed because they're packed fresh. Number six, Jeremy Melton. You get Bill Bridges, Lakers. Bill Bridges, Lakers forward. Okay. Seven, Joe Cirillo. You get Bobby Smith Cavaliers. Bobby Smith forward Cavaliers. Nice to center holding the ball. Card number 78. Got to check most of these cards because they have a lack of tens. And the McAdoo's in here too. Interesting. Number eight, Gary Marks. David Bing, NBA All-Star. Dave Bing, All-Star. Card number 40. Dave Bing. He's a Hall of Famer, and it's an All-Star card. Congratulations there, Gary Marks. We always love any Hall of Famer to add extra value to the card. Okay. Number nine, Jeremy Melton. You get Dennis Autry. From the Jazz, Dennis Autry, center. It's like a big guy. Card number 74, Dennis Autry. And Jeremy Melton, number 10, you get Jeff Petrie. That's a nicely centered card. Looks like they were standing in front of a screen back then. Card number 110, Jeff Petrie. Okay, we're going to randomize on the Wheel of Rip this beautiful scratch-off game card. Flip a coin. I, I don't know. There's a lot of rules on there for a little game card. But somebody's going to have a chance to get it, play it. I don't know if you scratch off the numbers. But don't hold your breath to mail that in to get some money or whatever they give out. Let's spin this wheel for one lucky winner of the scratch-off game card. Now let's show the back of it. Number four, Paul Tuttle, you get the scratch off game card. Congratulations. And in the giving mode, let's go right to the dividends on the randomizer. We'll randomize the list six times. Let's go six for the dividends. One, two, three, four, five, six. Joe Cerullo, congratulations. You get 400 points. Paul Tuttle, 200. And Brian Brillhart, 100 points. And we got knocked out by that pack. We have a Rocky II sealed wax pack right here. We're going to spin the wheel. It's a nice pack, Rocky II. 21. He won the second one. Who's getting this beautiful wax pack? Paul Tuttle, congratulations. We'll let you open that one up because it's Rocky. I ain't going near Rocky. Right. Nice pack. There are 10 movie post pictures in there of Sylvester Stay alone. Okay, we have coming up our grade parade, and then we have a 1980 basketball. We have a 1975 top cello, and we close it out with our 86 pack. We got three big packs coming up. Let me clean up the board. We do now our grade parade, and basically what that is is we uh all the cards that we get graded back we showcase them live we grade these on the house looking to expand and extend value for all our customers free okay Take a little break from ripping, get the hands going here. A little halftime intermission. We'll pause for intermission. 
I know some of you got these just ribbon mugs. I know they're, they're delicious. They're good. Okay. We had a equity pack that was opened up a couple weeks ago. We had these cards expressed right back to us. It's what's called our grade parade. These cards will then be shipped. Once we do an equity pack, let me explain that while we're on the topic. We have an equity pack. You don't own a card. You own a share of the pack. We own, when it sells out, we open up the pack. We get all the cards graded. We get an express back to us. We send them to the next PWCC auction. Once the auction closes out, and we're sending emails throughout the whole process when we grade them, when we ship them, when they're up for auction, when the auction's over. And then whatever money's left over, we split the proceeds. They're high end packs. Cards could be worth 20, 40, 80, over six figure cards are in there. Tomorrow night, we are opening this 58 cello up. And here could be a Jim Brown if it's a nine or a 10. Easily over six figures in there. Very hard pack. And we all share in it, which is great. A lot of good value in there. I can't wait to open that up tomorrow. But we've had this 67 pack open. There was a mantle series. Eddie Matthews was on top. And all the cards came back graded. They looked pretty clean. They got some good grades. And welcome to the Just Rip It Grade Parade. The top card was Eddie Matthews. Came back in SGC5. Very nice card and clean. John Kennedy. Not the president, but came back four and a half. Maybe they thought he was the president or one of the presidents. Lang number 189, Chuck Hitton came back a 5.5. Grades started getting a little better in the middle of the pack. Dave Wickersham came back at SGC7. Looks so beautiful in these cases. Ray Colt came back an eight. We're looking for tens now. We're trying to get tens. Looks like a very nice card. Came back an eight. A bright and colorful Cardinal team came back a seven. All centering. Once the centering's off a little, they, they knock it down. Sam Ellis, you can see the centering off there, five and a half. Vic Wozniowski came back at SGC5, the Orioles. We got a seven in Jack Bolchin. Tony Taylor came back a five. A little centering problem right there. Tito Fuentes came back in 8, 177. And Dalton Jones came back in 8. So we got a lot of 8s. They can get close to an 8.5, 9, or 9.5 or 10s. And our top card was Eddie Matthews, who's a Hall of Famer. Came back a 5. These will go off to auction. Once the proceeds come in, we'll let you know. And we'll be in touch, get you that money back out to you. And that is our grade parade of the night. Got to get Hall of Famers. Got to get better centering. We will get there. And tomorrow night, we got a good pack. I can't wait. Centering's hard on that, but sevens and eights are worth some money in this 58. That should be a very fun pack to go through. Okay. We have an 80 basketball up next. I call this the life-changing pack, because in here could be a third Julius and Magic Johnson card. Last one sold for 114000 back in February. The centering is very tough to get on these cards, but if you get that card, raw, any, any grade, it's worth some money. This is a PSA 8 pack. It's basically a, a one-and-done pack. There's maybe like 130, 176 cards. Five or four worth over a thousand with, of course, the card I mentioned earlier, six figures in there. And that's what we shoot for. Eight cards. There's a pinup in there. Uh, I don't know if they can get graded, but they are starting to uh, go up in value, the pinups as well. And we'll let you know what teams are good with team pinups. Okay, so let's get this pack loaded up. You check out a rip clip. We did pull one. I think we're almost due to pull another one. And this is what makes it very exciting because you just don't know. Again, spend $50 or more. Our promo is 15 NBA trading cards. Good chance to get Jordan or Robinson in there. And uh, it's a good little treat just to spend 50 more on two times Tuesday. And we'll rip that up for you tonight. Uh, you can grade pinups. Yeah, Robert. 
I'll check on that. I think, yeah, they do. They check them. Uh, they may take a little bit longer, but if it's worth it and the centering's good, and we will check that out for you. Okay, let's get this list populated and ready to go. Okay, we'll randomize the list seven times for the eight participants. Let's go lucky seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jeremy Melton the top, Eric Doyle the last card. The numbers there. Eight people, one, two, oh, what the heck? Let me fix this here, four, six. There we have it, Jeremy Top. Jeremy to Eric, top to bottom, eight people, eight cards, and a pinup. Let's get busy. This is very highly nerve-wracking because it's one card in there. Could make a hell of a 4th of July. Definitely recycled plastic. Whoa, nasty pack, very, very nasty pack, there we are. Yep, top coating, a lot of plastic when it comes to grading these packs. Okay, boy, this will be one heck of a firework 4th of July to remember. We can get that one card in there and good grade. And they, it happens, they're there. They are there. Okay, come on out nice and easy. Jeremy Melton, card one and two. Eric Doyle, the last card. We open it from the bottom, and Jeremy gets the top card. fourth of july hopefully this can make it a little better number one jeremy melton you get michael cooper moses malone and george johnson Some great players on this card great players moses malone we needed moses malone back in that 75 pack that's what we needed moses jeremy melton card number two Tom Lagarde, Billy Pauls, and Big Bob Lanier. That's a nicely centered card. Let's take a look at that. Nice, very nicely centered card. All centered. And these were perforated back in the day in 1980. Kids would get three players to one card, and they would cut them out. And that's why they became very valuable, most of them. Number three, Eric Brillhart. You get Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Mike Mitchell, and Terry Tyler. 
I know Jabbar's on there. I gotta see. Jabbar, 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 Jabbar. Yeah, we'll check that for you. Once I see Jabbar there, he's a good player. Nice to send a card. Very nice. Good, good pull there. When you get Jabbar, we got some good players so far. Malone, Lanier, and Kareem. You know the three we're looking for. Number four, Jeremy Melton. Campy Russell, Armin Hill, and Michael Ray Richardson. A lot of action on that card. A lot of stuff going on. I like the centering again. It's a nice pack with centering so far. It can go good. It can go bad. It's not predicated on a top or bottom card. Here is our team pinup. We'll take a little peek. We'll randomize this off. Let's see the centering's off a little bit. Pistons. Oh, man, number five. You know, I glance at three guys when I see Dr. J in the middle. A little palpitation, but it's Junior Bridgman and Ricky Sobers with Julius in the middle. One of the three gets a horn. Julius Irving right in the middle there. All we needed was Bird and Magic, and Jeremy, you would be, you'd be having one hell of a 4th of July. But it ain't over yet. Let's keep going here. Number six, Jeremy Melton also. Got a Mike Bantam, George Gervin, and Johnny Davis. I mean, uh, uh, let me get this. I'll give you a slight horn. It's a little off center, but this is the fourth best card in the set at a